we all know that there are four seasons, you know them already, but d do you realize that there are seasons within, se within seasons, especially for women? And knowing about those seasons within the seasons may be one of the keys to finding happiness in your life. Sarah Avant Stover has written a book called The Way of the Happy Woman, Living the Best Year of Your Life. It's about seasonality. It's about how you can use seasonality to uh, find a degree of happiness. Uh, she is a yoga instructor, but also has a really good take on uh, sort of the philosophy of life. So for, for starters, seasonality, it's important. Obviously, we live differently in summer than we do in winter, and that, you're saying that that should affect how we think during the year. Yes, so we're in the springtime now, so this is really a time of new beginnings to look at parts of yourself that you want to develop, new projects that you want to take on, and then we're about to move into summertime, so that's the time to really celebrate and enjoy the fruitions of the seeds that you've planted, and from there into autumn, which is about looking back, reflecting, seeing what worked, what didn't work, letting go of the things that didn't work and seeing what you want to carry on with you. And then the winter time is completely letting go, coming back into the stillness and the rest that we need in order for the creative energy to emerge again in the springtime. Yeah, I think that either instinctively or out of meteorological necessity, we, we already sort of live those to some extent or another. You're suggesting that especially for women, that whole cycle actually compresses uh, into a monthly rhythm. It does. Each month, hormonally and um, energetically, we move through the four different seasons. So with the new moon and with a woman's menstruation, that's her winter time. That's the time for her to rest and go inside and tap into her inner wisdom. And then from there, move into the springtime where the energy builds, Summertime is the full moon, ovulation, high fertility, high energy, and then the autumn we start to slow down again. Um, that's moving back towards the new moon. That's the time of, of PMS. So is that something that you believe women and their spouses and partners should be aware of throughout? And I mean, how do you practically deal with that other than saying, well, this is the way my body works? Well, the first step is to become aware of it and then just to try it out to see what, what would it be like if I aligned my lifestyle with these different rhythms. For example. For example, so the week before menstruation, to start to pare down on your activities. Don't go out so much with your friends. Don't do such an intense workout at the gym or intense yoga class. Start eating simpler foods, more like soups and salads and, and more vegetables. Get more sleep. So that way the mood swings about PMS aren't as strong because you're not fighting right. what's happening in your body. Um, it, now, I'm guessing, we, obviously not everybody's body works the same, and I'm guessing that this is really more a matter of adjusting to, to whatever instinctively or intuitively one understands about their body, uh, that this is not sort of locked in stone for different people. So how do you become aware of what's going on inside? Well, for me and what I advise the women that I work with and in the book, it's taking 10 minutes a day to sit with yourself. So either to sit in meditation on a chair or in your bed or on the floor, closing your eyes, feeling your breath, just the rise and fall of your breath. For some women, that's t sitting with your cup of tea and looking out the window or sitting outside. And just when we take those 10 minutes every day, we get a sense of how is my body feeling? What, are, what, are mood, what kind of mood am I in? What are the thoughts that are driving me? And then we get more of a sense of, of intimacy with ourselves to see how we want to live our day. Okay, fascinating concept. The Way of the Happy Woman, it's by Sarah Avant Stover, and uh, she's going to be appearing on June 7th, day after tomorrow, 7 p.m. at Copperfield's Books in Sebastopol. Uh, her website is thewayofthehappywoman.com. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for having me.